All right, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. Probably wondering why I have this on my head. It's because I'm gonna show you guys the teardown on the cylinder head. Um, we're gonna dive right in it today and here we go. Okay, so most of you guys already know what a cylinder head looks like. And if you don't, this is what an S2000 cylinder head looks like. Um, here's the radium rail that I didn't take off. I'm not gonna take it off. I'm just gonna leave it as is because this entire intake manifold I gotta use for the new head. So I went ahead and unscrewed uh, 10, uh, the 10 of the fasteners here that hold the intake off on. I left, I think three of them in to show you guys cause you know, some people want to see from start to end on every single thing. And you know, when you're a car enthusiast or someone like me that like to get things done, we don't really have time to slow down. But since I'm making this for everyone, and I want everyone to have a good experience while I do this. I'm going to show exactly what I'm going to do. So I have the bare cylinder head here. I took off the cam caps. Everything's taken out of the, the head here. Even the, the timing gear goes right here. So I'm going to lift the head over and I'm going to take off the intake. So we're going to look at this together. Actually, first, let me show you guys the valve that snapped. So if you take a look here the one without the spring is the one that snapped now the guide itself look at the guide look how worn out that guide is you see the valve is basically sitting in a hole it should be snug onto the the valve stem so whoever pressed these guides in and it's not just this one because i noticed that whenever i change the seals on here whoever pressed these guides in used something and it destroyed the top it literally destroyed the top of the um, the guide, the bronze guide. And when I look down in here now, obviously I can see debris in there because it, from everything that happened during the damage, the debris got into here and it made it even worse. So we're gonna have to look into why that's that, and I'm gonna probably gonna end up beating it out. And then these these little things here, and cylinder heads, they are called uh, LMAs lost motion assemblies they basically just keep the center uh what do you call that the center roller afloat on the uh, rocker assembly so let me put the camera back up and then i'll take off the intake manifold all right so like i said i loosened everything already to make it easier so i'm gonna flip it around here and uh so I can turn on my light. So I left one bolt in right here that I'm gonna get right now. And they are 12 millimeter bolts. Or fasteners, I should say. They're 12 millimeter fasteners. So get all that off. I took the bottom one off and I think I have two on top left. So I have two in the corner here. You see me taking that one off. The same thing on the other side. These are just nuts. Like they're just nuts. And I'm gonna take the one on the opposite side off directly across. Oh. Alright, so now I'm gonna place the head back down and I'm gonna take off the intake manifold. Shoot, hopefully it doesn't fall off on me. Alright, here we go. Ew, so you got it off. Now, what's interesting about the intake manifold for the S2000 and K-Series, some of them are like this too. See this hole right here? This is basically your, um, this is your water, basically a water neck. When you look at like a, a B-Series or a, um, a H-Series or F-Series, like a single cam F-Series, this is what connects to the hard pipe, you know, but this one doesn't have one. The S2000 blocks and K-Series blocks, I believe, don't have that. The water line that comes behind the back. Which makes it super nice because you don't have to change old rings and none of that stuff. So I get that out of the way. I'll show you guys the gasket. Now, the intake manifold gaskets. Now, if you're used to the F-Series and the H-Series like I was with the Accord, you'll notice that the intake manifold gasket here is not one of the plushies types I guess 
I don't know what material the other one's made out of, but this doesn't stick to the head. You don't have to go and sand and scrape anymore. You know, this is the water jacket hole. You can see. It's pretty cool. I like it. So the S2000 engine is super simple to work with, basically. Uh, a lot less stuff to do. Now let's take a look inside the actual cylinders themselves. Alright. Alright, take a look at this. If you look down into the cylinder hole, you can see, hold on. Yeah, there it is. You can see that the valve is snapped. Literally, you see the valve is snapped. So, what we're gonna do Let's try to take it out. It is stuck. It is literally stuck. Oh, the damage is crazy. Alright, so here we go. You can see in there. It's pretty bad. You see it? But it doesn't look crazy. Like, this, the valve guide still looks okay. There's nothing crazy going on. Um... Well, the other ones, okay, you know, I don't know. This is just a sad event, honestly. And to be honest with you, looking at the one that's right there, you can see there's marks right where the other one snapped. There's marks in there. I don't know if you can see it. Literally, there's marks on it. Hmm, interesting. On every single one of them. Oh, I know, just cylinder three and cylinder four. There are marks right where it snapped. Anyways, let's try to take this valve out. Not really sure how I'm gonna do it since I got the keepers out already. All right. So, basically, basically I'm just gonna take a hammer to it. All right, here we go. Let me just take a hammer to this. I'm just gonna beat this out. Even though it's stuck. Even though it's stuck, I think I might be able to get it. Ooh. Yeah, she's tight. She's real tight. We're bending the, we're bending it now, basically. We're bending it out. See, as we push the valve, as we push the valve out, we're bending it out now. Pretty crazy. It's it's bending now because this is stuck and it won't come out. And I'm forcing it out the head because I'm throwing this head in the trash anyways. So, yes. I'm going to continue with this. Um... It's really, really hard right now, so I'm not even entirely sure I'm gonna be able to get the power out. It looks disgusting. Anyways. Oh shoot, I got it. Damn, I got it. This is crazy. All right, here, here it is, look at this. Look at this. Snapped right on off. This is crazy. It got beat up, but it, you know, it's not like. Shoot. Dang. Now the valve is moving in and out like nothing. Because I was stopping it. Let's take it out. <laughs> Ew. Damn. Well, I literally just bent it a little bit, push, uh, beating it through, but I'm pretty sure it was bent anyways. But this is crazy. This is crazy. 
Take a look. Take a look. 